Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. Let's build where I was inspired by some of the suggestions uh, I that were put forward for the topic of the last stream. Uh, the last live stream I did, which is up uh, on YouTube in case you want to watch it. And I highly recommend you do because I had a wonderful time and so did the people uh, watching, so that's great. Not exaggerating, it was a wonderful time. But in any case, so one of the suggestions for the stream, which unfortunately I didn't go with because there were too many good suggestions, uh, was making borderwise versions of Faction Craft. Just, you know, the starting Faction Craft, the easy ones. Because the other day I chucked up on the YouTube community page and... Like, I love the YouTube community page. It's it's a, well, it's a great way to t get in touch with the community. But I uh, made my own version of the Onyx Watch Bastion um, and shared a picture of it up on that page. And so I guess that's what prompted the suggestion and that suggestion is what's prompted this video because, as you probably already guessed, we're making a Borderwise version of the Marauder. The Border Marauder, if you please. And I kind of want to, like, I guess half apologize for me, uh, me designing the weapons off camera, but um, I was excited to do this and I couldn't wait until um, recording time, so to speak, before I did it. And also because I tend to find that uh, that's the most time consuming part of a build and I have absolutely no idea uh, how long it will take usually. And also, um, I tend to reject uh, the first one or two goes I have at things like this. I got lucky this time. Uh, the Cram Cannon and the Broadside APS, of which I'm very proud of the decoration work on the barrels and of that kind of uh, sphere mantlet right there. I'm super proud of that. I love the look of that a lot. Um, I got lucky and kind of nailed that on the first try. Okay, not so much with the Broadside APS. That took me a few goes to figure out exactly what it is I wanted. And the end result still isn't very good in terms of Dhaka, because it's just, um, what is it? I think it's like 60mm uh, non-railgun holopoint shells, so they're not very strong. They're just good for, you know, very small, delicate craft that managed to sneak around the sides of the border marauder. And yeah, so the cram cannon's also uh, not anything to write home about. It's, um, what, what are we using here? It's got, um, it's kind of standard Tetris flipped on its side a bit. So, it's not not amazing, uh, but it's okay. It's okay-ish, and somehow, uh, this whole thing, even like stuffed full of uh, advanced cannon components, this thing somehow is in roughly the same price range as the original Marauder. More on that later. And um, this whole build, I think in no small uh, part, thanks to uh, prefabbing a bunch of it ahead of time, this went very quickly. I was basically done with this in about half an hour, and this video is around uh, 40 uh, minutes long, and um, basically the most of the reason for that is that I started mucking around after a while. More on that later. So yeah, it's like this, um, this is an example of a build, I guess, where it was pretty, I knew what I wanted to do, I had objectives in mind, and I had a kind of guide. I made a point of not looking too hard at the original Marauder. Uh, simply because I wanted to just rely on my memory of it, because I've looked at it a lot. Uh, how closely I've looked at it, well, that's a different story. And um, basically the only major thing I did was just look at the paddle wheel on the Marauder just to see how it actually works. Thankfully I figured that out reasonably quickly. And well, yeah, you might notice this has a kind of sloping canoe shape on it. That was uh, partly accidental and also partly deliberate, because I thought, you know what, if it turns into a canoe, it's a good laugh, because people get to say, uh -huh. Borderwise's crippling canoe addiction that's ru ruining his family life. But it's very amusing, haha. Uh -huh. And if it, like, you know, and also because it's just frontsiders, and which the Marauder is one, uh, it's just, you know, it's, you know, the pointy shape in front makes sense. Uh, slopes and stuff. So yeah, it's like, um... What are we doing here? We're just basically... This whole thing's made of wood. I think this actually is a greater percentage wood uh, than the original Marauder, which has actually a fair bit of metal here, there, and everywhere on it. And um, that might be one of the reasons why it's so cheap. And uh, looking at this right now, I could have actually uh, dropped the hull a little bit more below those guns. 
uh, because I actually ended up having to use a PID to get it to, uh, like, you know, come out of the water a little bit. Uh, because the guns, like all the guns, including the big ram in the front and these uh, broadsided, uh, broadsiding fixed gun APS, um, they were kind of, um, you know, they were kind of under the water a little bit. So that's possibly something I should have and could have done better. In fact, there's a long list of things I could have done better because that's kind of the, you know, that's kind of how this game rolls. It's just no matter what you do, you come back to it later or immediately afterwards. I literally just recorded uh, the footage you're watching right now and I'm commenting over it, so it's still fresh in my mind. Which is both a good and a bad thing because sometimes uh, leaving it to stew for a while, I've got more things to say. And other times, um, yeah, it's just like, no. I haven't had as much of a think of it, so I wasn't like... So I don't get the joy of looking over what I've just done and go like, Oh, damn it, I should have done this, this, and this. But yeah, so... Now we're gonna work out... I should also mention as well that, um... Along with not... Oh, yep, yeah, <laughs> that was a fun thing. It's just, oops, you got the wrong block selected. Yeah, muggins. And, um... Yeah, so... What are we doing? So, you notice I'm not trying to follow the original Marauder exactly. The whole point is that this is my own version of it. And so, um, some things I do better and some things I do basically the same. It's basically the excuse is, it's not meant to be meta, guys. It's meant to be fun. So, hence the thing being made of wood and not metal and the thing not flying and not having warp drives and lambs and, you know, piston rams and all other kinds of crazy stuff on it because, you know, it's the Border Marauder. That's all it is. That is kind of why uh, there's just a, a hull pipe I'm using there. I usually would use uh, ducts for this, because ducts are actually much better, they're cheaper, they're stronger, and uh, if the exhaust line gets broken, like, they still work. But uh, in this particular case, since the original Marauder has a very distinctive, like, um, uh, ducts on top of it, because its engine is, like, on top, it's on deck, or sunk into the deck, rather. I wanted to keep it like that, because that adds a little bit of interesting stuff uh, to the deck of it. And, yeah, so that's the reason behind that decision. And also detection. Uh, this Marauder, this Border Marauder has a fair amount of uh, detection. And by fair amount, I mean it's just got cameras and bearing rangefinders, because that's all I felt really felt like using. So, yeah, so it's just very, you know, very simple, nothing to write home about. I'm wondering why I even bothered to use armored rangefinders for this, because, you know, the, the, it's surrounded by wood, which means that if a, oh, I don't know, a marauder shell, a uh, real marauder shell lands right there, it's just going to vaporize all the wood, and then the, and then the bearing rangefinder won't be attached to anything, and then uh, just the whole thing will fall apart, fall apart anyway. Also, cheeky little uh, surge protector in there. Um, no really good reason to stick that in there because, well, I know, honestly, this like not a meta craft at least. I just have a kind of aversion to using single wood blocks uh, whenever possible, even like especially if they won't be visible. Um, because I just like surge protectors. If you've just got a one by one by one meter gap uh, in your ship, just might as well stick a surge protector in it. What's the harm? And so, yeah, so connector goes there, and me figuring out, I actually had a lot of layers of wood uh, on this thing, and I keep overestimating uh, how strong layered wood is, which sounds weird, um, but I do, it's like, the three meters of wood is like, oh, that's pretty sturdy, and the, the, no, no, Borderwise, it's made of wood, it is the opposite of sturdy, it is not sturdy at all. And you think it back, I could have made an entire uh, layer down here, just surrounding the ammo keel, just full of wood, just to prop the guns out of the water a little bit more. But I didn't do that, and um, probably when I inevitably go back and have a have a look at this thing and try and make it even better, uh, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna make a few changes just before uh, I declare it finished and done. So yeah, it's like um, keel ammo uh, and ammo storage in the keel. Uh, that is a feature of the original Marauder. Works decently well, uh, actually. Like it would work a lot better if the rest of the Marauder wasn't so flimsy. But who am I to judge? I'm. I also like building things out of wood. And um, two reasons. I think I'm one of the few people in the From the Desk community which likes the way uh, that wood looks. And secondly. 
Um, oh, the, oh, before I get to the next bit, there's also a practical uh, application to that. You can clearly see what beams are being used and also like how many of them are roughly just by eyeballing it. And I'm getting, I get the sense that's kind of why people don't like wood is because of those very strong uh, dark lines uh, you get uh, just from the ends of the beams. But I like that it helps uh, establish, it means at a glance you can see how big something is or just, you know, you can see at a glance how many beams and what kind of beams are being made. And, um, and a third reason, I guess, uh, for uh, why I like using wood on things is because it's great for prototyping. If you have an idea for a craft, I recommend you build the whole thing out of wood uh, first, because, like, this is something I say frequently. Uh, well, frequently-ish. And, yeah, those of you who are worried about me saving, well, there you go, I just saved. But basically, if you prototype things in wood, uh, it's easy to uh, upscale uh, the material used after that. So if you make a craft that's decently effective uh, when it's made entirely out of wood, which is the weakest structural material in the game, so to speak, um, then if you, you just make another version of it using alloy and metal and heavy armor and stuff like that, you'll, you will be blown away by how effective it is. I have, kind of by accident, and, oh, this is where I can shamelessly plug a video I made ages ago. It's called Building in Three Sizes, and it's just, I guess, a fun exercise to do. It's like, there's exercises you can do in From the Depths uh, to, like, improve, just work on your building skill, which are, and, you know, before you get intimidated by the fact that this is a video game in which you have to do, like, exercises and training to do to get good at, though I guess any game can be like that. Um, the main point of that is that it's fun. So, when I did it, I basically built three canoes of, generally speaking, the same kind uh, of, um, the same basic layout, but I did it in, like, three sizes. And so, all of them are made of wood, and, uh, yeah, I'm getting to the point quickly, I promise. Um, the main point is that the biggest one could take on a Twin Guard Titan. The whole thing's made of wood. Like, it's wood and metal, to be fair. Uh, but still, as I was amazed. I was astonished and amazed that it could do that, because as it turns out, um, it, was a, it was a big thing to be sure, but it was cheap for its size because it was made of wood, and it just unloaded on the Titan with, um, you know, APS and large missiles, and just, it won. And the damn thing's made of wood. Imagine if I'd used metal. So yeah, that's um, probably... Uh, that is uh, me singing the praises of wood for. I guess that's something. Ah, that's mm, frustrated now at past borderwise. Is that I should have. I really wish that occurred to me when I made my armor tutorials. Again, another shameless self plug. Uh, if you haven't watched them, like, please go watch them because I worked hard on those. Armor tutorials always stressed me out. And hopefully I never have to make any more again because it's complicated. And. I'm always aware that um, my ignorance heavily outweighs my knowledge in that department. But in any case, so, um, yeah, I should have mentioned that uh, in those tutorials, is that wood is good for prototyping like that. Precisely because it's generally such a crap material. Its main uh, usefulness is that it's cheap, and its flim flimsiness is, like, almost a part of its strength is that it's flim- well, for one thing, low armor value, great spall liner if things are firing hash at you, and also, anything you make out of it is automatically going to be bad enough so that you can have- you can kind of, um... What's the word I'm looking for? You can kind of, uh... deliberately make your craft have to do more with less. So, which is handy when prototyping, because you've got to push your prototypes hard if you want to, if you want the finished vehicle to be really good. At least, that's what I think. Probably, like, don't take my word for it. Like, that's an approach that has worked for me. It might not work for you. And if it doesn't work for you, that's okay. That's okay. We're all safe here. We're all friends here. So, anyway, uh, now we're going to work on the paddle wheel in the back. And I... Freely confess, I have no idea how much of this thing's speed is actually, um, final speed, is actually made using this thing. I thought, I have literally never, ever, 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 uh, made a pedal wheel craft in my life, um, in From the Depths. 
like in real life as well like believe me uh you would know if i had because i would be talking about that a lot so so yeah it's like this is the first one i've ever made and it actually worked out reasonably well in the end like it helps that like i said earlier i did look at the uh, original marauder to see how its one worked because you know when in doubt uh the artist way if you can't do uh, trace copy use reference etc etc it's not cheating it's just being efficient man i want to do another art stream i did an art stream once and it was great fun like the i think the view the views weren't great but you know I, there there are some videos that um uh i don't mind if the views aren't particularly high i'm willing to do it again and give it another shot and I think partially, it's a fun thing, like, fun fact about the YouTube algorithm, it tends to pigeonhole people. So even if you are a very successful uh, YouTuber, if you've got, like, thousands or millions of subscribers, uh, and if you do something that's not like your usual content, like in my case, anything that is not from the depths related, uh, automatically does not do so well, because I think, well, partially because people mainly come to me for from the depths content, which makes perfect sense. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. And I've seen that with other content creators as well. You look at Lathrix, for instance. Like, his From the Depths videos have way more views, um, generally speaking, than anything else. And it's just, that's kind of one of the blessings and the curses of From the Depths, is that once you start covering it, people come to you for that, and usually not much else. Although Cosmeteer videos have been getting uh, comparable views, so you better believe I'll be doing more of that. Also, I'm constantly abused at my determination to make a formidable space canoe. I'm probably going to be at that for a while. But in any case, so um, partially that is just due to the audience, and I fully understand that and accept that. Uh, but also I think it's because the YouTube algorithm itself um, is a wee bit biased and a wee bit stupid in that way. In that um, it tends to favor uh, what the viewer... How do you describe this? It tends to favor what the viewer, what it thinks the viewer wants, uh, rather than what the uploader makes, if that makes sense. So, if I make a non From the Depths video, there's a good chance that most of my uh, subscribers and most of the people who watch my stuff regularly, even if they're not subscribed, I have a sneaky feeling that they don't get notified at all and it's not even recommended to them. Uh, like on their on the front page of their YouTube uh, page and um, it's not in the recommended it's not in the recommended videos or anything like that and so they just don't know I've even done it so that's kind of annoying like even if they would watch it it's like and this is kind of the YouTube algorithm being simultaneously very clever and very very stupid and the reason I have this uh, suspicion is because I've had people like in the comment like in on discord or on twitter or in the youtube community page is like wow i had no idea you made this and like often these people have been like subscribed to me for literally years and the videos aren't exactly that new that they're talking about it's like the one-offs i have a whole playlist full of uh, indie games which are not from the depths and like you know just because just because you you can't cover from the depths all the time Better content creators than me have burned out, uh, like, doing that. Like, R.I.P. Rosefall, R.I.P. Ireland Gaming. Uh, I haven't checked recently. I don't think Robos has done uh, From the Depths in a long time. Like, even Lathrix, who is, like, the god of From the Depths YouTube at the moment. Like, he's way, he's way better than me at this game. And uh, he's got the content on that corner, because he doesn't do tutorials, he just does cool stuff. Like, non-stop cool stuff that looks good, performs well, and I uh, yes, I'm very jelly. But also, I'm also happy for him. I love that guy, he's cool. He's got lots of pets. But, um, well, where was I going with this? Um, like, yeah, even Lathrix took like a, what was it, a two-year break from this game? Because this does burn you out. There are times when I just, I don't even want to touch this, because I play it almost too much sometimes because i do play it in like um my off uh, my like my off time uh off camera so to speak uh and yeah you can't do that and that's why i've got a playlist full of other stuff and why i'm so happy that uh, cosmeteer 
is being liked by people who watch my stuff regularly because that's so nice. This Cosmeteer is... It's not exactly an easy game, but um, it is a lot less complicated than From the Depths, so... Also, it's much faster to build stuff in Cosmeteer. You can whip up something, a terrifying space battleship, in, like, basically no time flat in uh, Cosmeteer. And um, I say that, I don't really know what I'm doing in that game, but um, I... I am assured, and I'm sure, that people who do know what they're doing, they can just, like, they can pull a, you know, space battleship Yamato out of nowhere uh, if you just put them in front of Cosmeteer, which is fantastic. And I forgot where I was going with this again. So, yeah, it's like uh, the YouTube algorithm, just for whatever reason, like, just because that's what it does, it wants you, it wants you to keep clicking, and so it'll recommend stuff that you're likely to click on. That what it thinks you're likely to click on is the important distinction, because goodness knows it's not always right. I've, quite often when I look at the YouTube stuff I'm thinking, Deacon's Christmas, why are you recommending this to me? Particularly the ads. Like, um... Oh yeah, this is the part where, um... where I'm loading in the Marauder, simply because I, like, I had no idea how to make that damn paddle wheel work. And I, maybe I was testing it wrong, maybe the spin blocks don't react this way um, with the... Uh, just with the manual controls. Like, they should. I can't think of any reason why they shouldn't. Like, that would be really weird. Okay, now I know what I did wrong. Just looking at it right there. This is why it's handy to have a look over your footage, like, after recording, because then you were like, oh, derp. Uh, I didn't mess with the main positive, the... The dry factor that's under player control. Derpy 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 herpy derp. Derpy derp derpy derp. So yeah, where am I going with this? Oh yeah, so I guess um if you like my From the Depth stuff, like please go give the delightful indie games playlist uh, a quick look see. You might see something you like in there. And don't be discouraged uh, by the generally lower view count, because I know I'm sometimes discouraged by that, I'm saying. And it's very hypocritical of me. I look at a YouTube video and say, it's like, Ooh, it's only got 1,000 views. It's like, dude, like, that's roughly, that's how your YouTube videos do. Quit being judgy judgy. Because, yeah, that's, uh, that's how the cookie crumbles uh, sometimes. I should stop shamelessly plugging my own channel, which you are currently watching, and talk more about the game. And this is the point where... Uh, I don't really look enough at uh, the, From the Depths Marauder. The original Marauder. The Marauder original. What's the new name? We need a new name for the Marauder. The Superior Combat Vessel. Um, I haven't checked, actually. I think that still is... Hang on, I'm going to check right now. I, I am out of dams to give. I'm going to check what happens if you Google image search Superior Combat Vessel. And it should still be the Marauder. Superior combat vessel. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, I love the From the Depths community. You Google superior combat vessel. Uh, it's still the Marauder in all her glory. First three images. Well, first two images are the Marauder. The third one is um. Three Marauders glued together, and that's on Reddit, so... Bless you, Reddit, for making wonderful things happen, and maintaining that, because I think that happened years ago. It was just... Reddit straight up uh, came together and said, like, Hey, let's upvote this, so this is the first thing that pops up uh, when um, people Google Superior Combat Vessel. What is Pass Borderwise doing? Pass Borderwise is trying to figure out railings, because the original Marauder has railings, and so we are going to put railings on here as well. Devastatingly unsafe railings. Uh, because they're right after a slope. So there we go. And the reason I'm using these railings as opposed to anything else is just so the cameras can see through them. Which is very, very convenient. I have gotten to the point that I reflexively use decoration for whenever I want to make things pretty. And when it's not quite going the way I want it to, so right, what what are we doing here? Yeah, so right here, this is where aha, I can't put railings here. It's time for decoration. 
Wow, I just, my brain just blanked right there. Well, there's not much to say with deco. That's what I call decorations, deco. Because it's shorter and it sounds cool. And, uh, oh, I just noticed that there's a paint all option in the decoration menu. I really, really could have seen that earlier. Like, Fun fact, I've made a mortar, like, just in my spare time, I've made a mortar canoe. Um, just for giggles, really. Well, it didn't start out as a mortar canoe. I'm testing different canoe hulls again. Yes, there's more than one kind of canoe hull. I'm making all of them up. But, yeah. So, yeah, that would have been nice to know. Jeez. So, yeah, I've like, sometimes you just go on a canoe bender. You know what I mean? Like, like... Canoes are my equivalent of comfort food in From the Depths. It says, when I can't think of anything to build, I make a canoe and see where it goes. Usually with a cram cannon on it. Because, um, yeah, and with a lot of... There's only so many guides you can make on cram cannons, and like... Oh, bugger. I just realized there is one I can make, and I should really get around to it. Oh, boy. My to-do list in From the Depths is so very long, and part of the key to me not going insane is only engaging with that list when I feel like it. That is a luxury that I can afford myself because I have burned myself out on tutorials before and let me tell you guys, it's not fun. Like, even the most fun thing in the world, the split second you feel obligated to do it, whoo boy, like, it can be anything. It can be, I don't know, um, what's a ridiculously fun thing uh, that people do? What do human beings do again? Like, you know, people who eat ice cream for a living, like taste test ice cream, you will get so sick of ice cream if you do too much of that too fast. It's just, you'll get tired of it. That's how we work, I guess. If your main job is, like, massaging supermodels and, uh, you know, you know, lathering up uh, their bodies with uh, sumptuous oils in order to get them ready for their photo shoot, you will get sick of that if you overdo it. Like, sounds crazy, I know, and I'm not judge. I don't mention what gender uh, the supermodels are either, because I don't know. I'm not going to judge you for your preferences. It can be any, all, or none of the above. Or maybe you're just in it for the, for the sumptuous oils. Again, I shall not judge, but yeah, even that. And From the Depths is in a similar category, if, especially tutorials, Deacons, Christmas. Like, it's one thing to know uh, information about this game, it's completely a different one in order to communicate uh, that information to somebody else. That takes thought and that takes effort. Like, I... Oh, the curse, most cursed topic for me is Steam. Because I simultaneously know how to use Steam. I can't explain it with Jack Diddley. I really can't. It's like, okay, so you kind of do this, kind of do that. But... I have tried, I think, three separate times to record a Steam Engine tutorial. Just a really basic one. Nothing fancy. It's just, these are the pieces, and they fit together like this. Couldn't do it. Like, halfway through the recording, I was just like, um... I don't even believe what I'm saying, so why should anybody else? Oh yeah, by the way, uh, PID. To my shame, to my shame, I need a PID to get the Border Marauder to work correctly. Well, in actuality, I really could have just, you know, rebalanced it a little bit, but I was feeling lazy. Once you have a prefabricated uh, PID setup, it tends to be the lazy option. Sad to say. So, yeah, so basic... I have not pulled out the basic PID setup. It's because... Um, oh, it is shout-out time. Uh, Ohm is futile. Uh, and other people. i got a shout-out, more than one person here who one live stream ages ago taught me how to use uh, breadboards, at least in a very basic sense. I tend to use me little prefab breadboard here, there, and everywhere, and it is fantastic. Like, real accomplishment that, like, uh, I gotta try and give myself credit, but also a lot of the credit goes, again, uh, to other people who are willing to pitch in and show me how to do things. Because here's the fun thing about you. When I put up these videos, I know full well that there are geniuses in the comment section. And you watching, you might well be one of them. So pat yourself on the back, you genius person. And, uh, 
Oh yeah, so like, so that's one of the reasons why making From the Depths content is so good, is because I teach people stuff, uh, but then I also learn stuff from people. And getting back to what's actually being shown on screen, this is the first time I've ever stuck a fake point uh, on a PID uh, pitch controller, because I want this thing to poke its uh, nose up out of the water just a little bit, so that the gun is free of the water. I don't want that thing poking in the water, because that's silly. And yeah, so... What uh, what do we have here? I've forgotten where we are with this. That does look quite Marauder-like. It's Marauder-like, but at the same time, you can definitely tell it was me and my crippling canoe addiction that built it. So, yeah. And this just firing the gun, just to see that it works. I could make such a bigger gun. I really could. Maybe I... And yeah, like, I'm gonna be messing with this further. And this is the only video I'm gonna make on it, probably, but rest, be, uh, rest assured... Uh, the finished version will be chucked up on the Steam Workshop, because that'll be awesome and cool and fun. And yeah, that, that'll be fan dabby dozy. Uh, yeah, so what, what, are we, what are you doing now? So this is the fun thing about um, uh, broadsiding, well frontsiding, sorry, um, uh, ships, is that um, you gotta like, I don't know, they don't work quite as well as airships because they don't hover the same way. So, yeah, this is me realizing, oh, darn it, I am going to have to stick props on this, aren't I? I totally am, totally am, totally am. So, here we go, sticking props on here. Very hesitant slopes to stick here. And, yep, nothing fancy, nothing amazing, just a whole bunch of propellers that go there. And hopefully don't cause the thing to flip up. And that basically fixed every single problem we had, apparently. So add maneuver, ship a tank. Uh, I really wanted to do the hover thing, but that requires some stuff. And yeah, and this is the point where it, passport wise, are you gonna fix that? Apparently not. So yeah, and that's me messing with things a bit more. Messing with things a bit more. And I really hope I did that correctly, because ye gods, that's gonna be uh it's gonna be problematic if I didn't. The thing will be going half as fast as, as it's supposed to be. But it moves, it moves quite well. Yeah. So yeah, it's like, I also accidentally made a kind of a tall pancake, um, not cockpit, what's it called? Tall pancake bridge. Uh, which I guess is another feature of my designs. Ever since I figured out how to build like circles, I have been addicted to them. Like I, just cannot stop. When the circle's dropped, I can't stop. Probably should add more rams to this, shouldn't I? I really should. Yeah, it's like, also, by the way, those of you who are screaming at uh, the screen right now uh, about um, uh, getting the actual shell uh, controller for the advanced cannons on this thing, yeah, I'm right there with you. I forgot to do that until I was like, why aren't these guns firing? And it's like, well, they're not firing because you didn't put a shell in there for them. Yeah, muggins. So, uh, what are we doing here? So, this is uh, me test writing stuff. And you'll notice I'm not using... Eugene. I am not using... Well, I accidentally spawned the thing on the wrong team. Well done, passport-wise. As, um... Yeah, I considered using a Bastion, but nah, that wouldn't be satisfying. But um, I'm not using the Marauder as the usual uh, crash test dummy for this, because I wanted to save that for last. And uh, yeah, look forward to that, because uh, that's hilarious and fun. So yeah, like, uh, we've got our uh, Border Marauder heading off to battle, first prototype battle, and it really does look very marauder like it's a it's a bit faster than the original marauder and definitely there's definitely differences and this is the point where i'm thinking like why aren't the guns firing and that's um usually with front siding ships you don't really want it to do that but in this case i'm fine with it because uh it's got broadside guns and i at that point uh when we blew up i literally just forgot what that thing's all when we blew up that target i was actually i actually did put my hands up in the air like woohoo because it's like, yes, Border Marauder is functional. I'm ready to go. Ready to wage war. Yum, yum. 
So, yeah, and this is the... what are we doing? What are you doing? Okay, this is the point where I want to test uh, the side guns, and I'm like, why are you not firing? What's your problem? And it's like, oh, no shell loaded, you derpy person. You... Inglebert, Dinglebert. Okay. And this is why it's handy to have test fortresses with stuff saved on them, because on this fortress, and you can probably see in the second before I hit prefab on it, uh, what it is. So, it is just, it's a very small, uh, like I said, non-railgun hollow point shell. Pretty crap at dealing with anything that is uh, either armored or decently big. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, I don't know why I rolled with that. I guess, I don't know, I wanted to try something different. But in this case, really what I got was something terrible, and I should change out uh, those shells for something else. Uh, like, literally anything else would do the trick. So, do you remember to save in the right folder, passport wise Well done, well done. You get a cookie. You get a ginger biscuit. Except I don't really eat ginger biscuits anymore. Actually, you know what snack I have uh, tried? Just, uh, literally just before recording. Uh, sugar-free gummy bears. Like, and I have heard, like, horror, horror stories about, um, uh, sugar-free gummy bears. There are certain brands of them, like I say brands, uh, that uh, will cause you to, like, ex have explosive diarrhea. There's a whole thread, like, reviewed on Amazon about, like, you know, like, sugar-free gummies that will give you the most terrifying poos of your life. Uh, but in this case, they seem to be fine, it's just they're f they've got stevia instead of sugar, and like, that's quite nice, because I'm trying to lay off the sugar as much as possible, because my metabolism uh, was not what it used to be, and it's only downhill from here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm fully aware that I have embraced and fully understand my own mortality, and yeah, so, okay, so this is the fun bit, this is where we go to the custom battle, and where we get to see how the Border Marauder fares against the original Marauder. And I was uh, so chuffed with the Border Marauder, that's why I did this. And I did this on camera, so that everyone uh, so that everyone at home uh, could join me in watching this. Because, woo, it's really good. So yeah, it's like, um, I'm totally down uh, to build more, I guess, Border versions of various faction craft. Uh, up to a point, the really big complex ones, maybe not so much because, well, I don't know. That's really that's just really time consuming. But um, you know, the the simpler ones, the easy ones, easy to easy, well, easy to fight and easy to make. Uh, I'm down for that. So immediately, like this is where we get fight going tray. So immediately, border marauder opens up and it's a hit, glancing hit right on the side there. And so, original Marauder is already taking damage, and she fires, and she misses by a mile. So this is going to be just these two, these two uh, superior combat vessels going up against each other. And yeah, this is at this point I thought like yeah, fight's over basically, and then well. Well, and of course, like, I was feeling pretty cocky, I thought, yeah, yeah, <laughs> ah, I'm just, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just so good, I've made a superior, superior combat vessel, and then, well, not to spoil anything, but I think the next shot uh, kind of puts me in my place, and yep, there we go, so, eating crow right there, like, I think that's partially luck, but, um, yeah, just immediately the fight's even, and the border marauder is short one cram cannon, uh, which is a problem because it only has the one. And now uh, the original marauder has kind of got her iron, and that's the point where you realize that uh, the border marauder is mostly made of wood and thus is about as durable as a sugar-free gummy bear. That was a very simple line, and I still managed to choke on the word gummy bear. Well done, border wise, and okay, that's very painful. And that's when you remember that, um, this is weirdly enough, like, a lot of new players actually, they, I remember especially back in the day, because, um, I think the main reason the Marauder, and you can see these shells are doing almost nothing to the front of the original Marauder, because her face is too thick. Um, I remember back in the day, because, uh, the, 
the Marauder is at the top of the list of easy vessels back in the uh, back in the old UI uh, for spawning enemy ships in the desire in the designer. That's why she was like the number one test dummy. And I re I think I'm not I'm definitely not the only one who actually had trouble uh, combat testing ships against um, the original uh, Marauder because um, when you know nothing about From the Depths and don't know how to play it. Uh, everything is godly, basically, so... And sometimes the Marauder just likes to show... Uh, just likes to, to show us... Uh, just, you know, that she's no pushover, and you should not get cocky. So yeah, on that merry note, merry and hilarious note, um, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And... Support me on Patreon and YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And this fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Let's build. Farewell.